bit of fluff on the bottom here. That was my anchor going down. But this is what I'm looking for, these fish on the bottom. You can see them sort of holding right on the bottom, all those little blue dots. I'm hoping that they are King George Whiting. So good morning. The sun's just coming up. Plan today is I'm gonna to try to get a King George Whiting and I'm just gonna work through it step by step. Um, I am by no means an expert at King George Whiting. I really haven't got them figured out, but I'm gonna be trying my best to get the couple and um, Liam might make some tick because um, they are just a tasty little fish to catch. When it's close season for all the other good fish, King George Whiting, it seemed like a pretty good substitute. So I'm gonna give it a crack. Oh, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be using a couple of different rigs today. First, I'm gonna start off with straight up. It's just a simple, if I can get it untangled, hang on. Yep. Just a simple Paternoster rig. I've got the old cock and ball sinkers on the bottom here. And just a single, uh, it's a mustard long shank. I think it's a, I'm not even sure what size it is, but it's pretty small. Just a mustard sh long shank. Um, just a simple Paternoster rig. I'm gonna start off with that, see how that goes. Um, and then I'll probably change it out and try something else as well. But we'll get this over the side. I've got a little bit of squid here and I'll um, drop it down and see how we go. Oh, first things first. I've got, a, um, got some pellets here. So these are just chicken pellets soaked in a bit of oil. Just gonna drop them over the side, let them go to the bottom. Just sort of barely the area up a little bit. And we'll get a bait down and see how we go. Alright, you can see those pellets have brought all the fish sort of off the bottom a little bit. So hopefully, hopefully, we'll get, should be able to get something on. Drop this down. I've certainly got a little piece of squid on here. I'll drop that down. Oh, those hooks here, by the way, are not mustard. They, they're um, Gamakatsu. And they're size four Kamikatsu long shanks. Let's get this down. Let's see what happens. I might even sit down here. Lazy fisherman. Sit down. I've got my coffee here. I'm sorted. We need is Mr. King George to play the game and we'll be laughing. I'll be happy with just like two, possibly three fish. I'll be stoked. I'll be happy. That's enough. That's all I really need here. With a bit of luck, I can make it happen. Oh, a fish on here. What's this? I was just adjusting my head cam there. It was a bit tight. What is this? Something on. Oh, hang on. It's getting a little bit angry. It's got a bit of weight to it. Could be what we're looking for. Could it be this easy? First drop. You never know, it could be like a little snapper or some kind of little wrasse or who knows. What actually is it? Oh no, it is, it's the target. You! And I'm pretty happy with that. First drop. Love it when a plan comes together. He's got that little long shanky right in his gob there. Thank you, Mr. King George. All right, well, that probably couldn't have worked out any better if I tried. First drop. All right, we'll drop another one down and see how we go. Um, oh yeah, look at the sounder. You can see them all coming off, off the bottom there. Ugh. I'll just put another handful of pellets down and you can see them all, they all come up off the bottom. I'm not sure if they're King George or if they're other fish. There's some kind of fish definitely down there. Let's hope I can get maybe just two more of those and I'll be happy. That's plenty for me. 
So I'm sitting here, I'm in 27 meters of water. This is basically just some sandy, weedy ground. Um, I'm gonna give Jack credit for this spot. He actually came across this spot. We've caught King George's here before, but sort of only random fish. We've never really caught like groups of fish. Check my bait. Quite the elusive fish, the old King George. I'm not, well, elusive for me anyway. I've never really had much luck chasing them. To be fair, I haven't really put in a huge amount of time chasing them either, so that's probably got something to do with it. Just a little piece of squid like that, that's it. That's what I'm dropping down on that number four Gamakatsu long shank. I've got some different hooks there. Uh, I'm gonna try out. I'm, I'll see how I go. I'm gonna fish with this for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna rig up i've got some different hooks there and i'm going to try um some black magic i think they're called k styles black magic k's or kl yeah black magic kl's so i'll stick with this for a little bit longer and then i'll switch over and put a black magic kl and like a running ball sinker style on my other rod there and see how how that how that works next to this um, find out what's better. First, I just want to make sure that there's more than one here, so I don't think it's a fluke. I don't think it was a freak fish. I feel like there could be more here. It's just a matter of putting in some time and seeing how it goes. I might start rigging up that other rod while this one does its thing here. So there we go. Can't even see that. It's tiny. The black magic. That's a Black Magic KL with just a running bean sinker there. So this is a different style of rig. I'm going to try this. Um, but I'm just going to leave this one out for a bit longer first. I just want to rig that one up. See how I'll go with that. I feel like I might have no bait left because that got pretty well touched up a second ago. Look at that. I just pulled up a squid boy. I turned off the, I turned off the camera because I was just about to reposition a bit and I pulled up my line and there was old squiddy boy on there um, fresh tentacles off of this guy is what I'm going to be using in a second but he's not the biggest squid in the world but he will be a nice supplement to the whiting I've already got a couple of squid rings some fresh whiting so we're in with a meal already to start with so that's I'll take that as a win all right it's gone pretty quiet here since I've got that other squid um, I've got some fresh tentacles I tried them the rats were all over, but I just can't get another King George, so I'm going to move. I'm going to go inshore a little bit and see if I can find some around some shallow areas. Ideally, I'd like to find a King George in a shallow sort of reef area, so we'll go for a cruise inshore, see what we can find in there. Oh, here's Jack. Let's see what he's up to. Hey! Oh, you're trying to get some rats for crayboat. Ah, uh, right, oh, did you get a few? Yeah, I've got two here. If I get one more, I'm stuck. Did you get any whiting? I've got whiting, I've got crates. Ah, right, eh? i got one King George. Do you want a crate to go with it? Oh, I wouldn't say no. I'm just going to see if I can get a couple of sand whiting. Um, as a stroke of luck, I just ran into Jack over there and he's got five crayfish out of his pipe this morning So he's gonna give me a crayfish as well. So I'm laughing got a King George 
a squid and now a crayfish, so dinner is sorted, but I'm gonna see if I can just drag a couple of sand whiting while I'm here anyway. Oh wow, <laughs> smack straight away. These hooks might be a little bit big for sand whiting. Oh no, I've got one on, here we go. It's not the biggest. If I can get a handful of those, they're tasty little snacks. Uh, it's really not too hard to get a feed of sand whiting. See what happens in here. It's pretty mixed up in here today. I throw the popper. Very kingfish looking territory. I don't know if I can get in there where I need to. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give it a miss in here today. It's a bit sketchy, the swells are coming across. I haven't been in trouble getting anchored where I want to get and the wind's actually swung to the northwest now instead of from the east where it was. It's a bit of a front supposed to be coming through this afternoon, so I'm gonna give it a miss. Didn't exactly go to plan. Um I still got still got a lot of work to do on these King George Whiting. I thought I was on this morning when I hooked that one first cast, but just goes to show you things aren't always as easy as you think they're gonna be. If you like the videos, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next episode. Yo!